Hey everyone, I'm back with another pros and cons type video where I want to evaluate whether paid conversation or language exchange is the better way to go. Of course, there are a lot of pros and cons, so I'm just going to list out the ones that I think are most important and which ones to consider. In my examples, I'm just going to talk about HelloTalk, which is a language exchange app, and italki, which is paid conversation, paid teacher, because those are the two that I use, but there are many, many language exchange apps and many tutors online. So this is a general overall pros and cons, but I'll just be using those two as examples. I'm going to start off with language exchange and the first pro of language exchange is that it feels more casual. Now you can find this with uh, teachers, I have found this with one person on italki where it felt like it was just a casual conversation with a friend, but I feel like this is very very rare because you can tell that essentially you're paying them for a service. So you can tell that they do have like a list of questions that if the conversation dies, they just ask you the next question, which is fine, that's what you're paying them for. But I feel like when it's language exchange, it's very much more like, oh, how's your day? What did you get up to? And more casual type conversation. Another pro to language exchange is you do get to meet some really cool people, but that isn't to say that you don't meet cool people on something like italki or paid tutoring either. I think it's just more like you get to know them on a more intimate level versus when you pay someone. Another pro, and this is the most important one for me, is you're actually helping someone else learn your language. And I've been very lucky to find someone, a language exchange partner. If you're watching this, hey, <laughs> you know who you are. And with us, it's really, really convenient because whenever we call, we just do half an hour in French, speaking only French, and then half an hour in English. And I really do feel rewarded when I help them when they're struggling in English. So it is quite rewarding versus just paying for the experience. And the last pro of language exchange is you can text each other. You don't necessarily have to video call. And a tip for this is get them to text you in English and you can text them in French or whatever language you're learning so that you both are able to progress but still learn at the same time. The only downside to this is you wouldn't be able to see how they normally type in the target language, but I think it's the best way to ensure both parties are getting value from the exchange. And moving on to the cons, the first one being that it is quite random with language exchange. Obviously people that, you know, teach for a living, they'll be available all the day that you want to be, you know, learning the language and the availability and flexibility is more easy. Whereas a lot of the people on language exchange have a full-time job you know, and if I'm if you're learning another language with someone who lives in that country, for example, I'm learning French with someone who lives in Paris, the time difference and just the availability is very, very random and you couldn't plan it, you know, to be like a lesson where it's very strict. Another con is they're not as intense with correcting you as a professor or a teacher. Obviously, when you're paying someone to correct you and look out for your pronunciation, Everything that you say wrong, every sentence that you say wrong, they type out in the chat for you so you can have it for later. Whereas if you're on the phone with someone and you're doing language exchange, it's very not likely that they're going to correct every teeny little mistake that you make just because imagine how much that would kill the flow of the conversation. And also, you know, they're not a professor, like they're not a teacher. They don't know what to actually point out. Also, I feel like with language exchange, you already need to have a decent ability in that language or else there would be no ability to have a conversation whereas you can have a teacher or a professor and you can speak to them in English and French whereas if it's someone learning English it's not as possible to be able to do that and if you're trying to have an exchange with someone and you have to stop every two seconds to ask them what a word means then it's just going to be not a good experience for either party. Although texting might help that if you want to just do language exchange via text and not via voice call or anything like that, then that could help as well. You could take the time to actually translate what they're saying. So that's a workaround, I suppose. And my last con, and this one's kind of funny. I don't know if it's exclusive to HelloTalk, but there are so many guys messaging you if you're a girl. I think a lot of people think it's like an international dating site sometimes. And I feel like it's just going to get worse and worse as more people download the app. I'm not really sure how they could make a workaround for that. They could try to incorporate like what Facebook has, but if someone wants to message you or friend you, then you accept or decline. That would probably be easy to 
filter through aside from having just 300 people in your inbox 24 7. obviously i'm assuming if you're a guy this isn't going to be a problem for you but the girls out there that are watching this and you use hello talk you know what i'm talking about now i want to talk about paid conversation or paid tutoring or lessons now with this i'm not talking about really serious professors i'm talking about just the cheaper for example on italki there's the community teachers and they just do language exchange essentially but you're paying them now one benefit to this is yes you are paying them but you don't have to do that 50 50 split where if you chat on the phone for french or another language for half an hour then you're kind of obliged to speak in the language that they want to learn for the other half an hour so you're essentially trading time for money uh, but obviously you know there's benefits to both Another pro is it's not actually that expensive to pay someone to do a uh, paid language exchange with you. For example, on italki, you can get someone for like $10 an hour, $10 an hour, and they'll speak to you the entire time in French or your target language, and they will type out everything that you don't understand, every word you missed, everything, and it all gets saved and you can come back to it later. This means that the full focus is on the language that you're learning and on you and uh, it's not so much an exchange where you're helping each other. It's all the focus is on you. And for $10, that's not too bad. Another pro is they critique you way, way more. If you mess something up, they'll catch you on it. Most likely, most likely. Again, it depends what teacher you have, but they definitely will pick you up on more things than if it was a language exchange. Now moving on to the cons, it's obviously not free. That's a no brainer, but also you can't really text for the lesson. It's always gonna be a video lesson. Therefore, if you do prefer texting language exchange, then I don't even know if there's something that exists that is for that. And the only other major con that I could think of is that it does actually take a while to find a teacher that you like. And if it takes you six lessons with someone that you've paid for to find a teacher that you like, it's a little bit frustrating. Whereas with language exchange, there's not such an investment like that. You can kind of tell if you want to chat with someone over text. You can send a two second clip to figure out what their personality is and then build off that. So it does take a bit more investment if you want to do the paid option. So my overall thoughts on which one is better. <sighs> my personal opinion on which one I think is better is the paid option. If you don't mind paying and I guess just the major, major benefit and why I chose the paid option is just because it's all focused on you the whole thing's focused on you there isn't that exchange where you're trading kind of time it's just 100 percent you and all the focus and the energy is going on making sure that you understand everything in saying that i do use both i do have a language exchange partner and i also do take italki lessons so you can really do both and it's it's totally up to you so that's my pros and cons and which option I think is better for you if you want to learn fast. Let me know if you guys like these types of pros and cons videos talking about which I think is best for language learning. And I'll see you guys next time.